So to celebrate having 2,000 subscribers, I thought I'd give you a quick workspace tour. Um, not so much a studio, as you can see, more of a corridor, um, which basically has got enough room from elbow to elbow. Uh, but I thought I'd give you a little sort of inside look into where I'm working and what I can work with. So over on the left-hand wall, um, I've got a couple of ideas boards where I've got reference images of stuff that I'm going to do or pictures from cards that people have sent me, postcards that I like, so I'll pop them up there. I've also got the inspirational pictures of um, my wife and daughter, just in case I'm having a bad day, they can pet me up. Um, got some more pictures over here, some of my own photo collages of uh, Sagrada Familia in Barcelona and just some other bits of promo artwork that I've got. Then up above that on the first set of shelves is my wallet to letter set markers. And um, if you like things color coded from dark to light, then you would probably love looking through, as you can see, my letter set wallets where I've got, you know, from light to dark in blues, greens, reds. Uh, and I reckon I probably had to buy half of those. And then when letter set wanted me to do a couple of videos for them last year, the year before, they sent me some extra pro markers, not the whole set, but just enough to kind of tide me over. I've still got quite a few gaps in the collection, but I was very grateful for them. Uh, for sending me some. Then in the green tin there, got some glass paints. Every now and then I do a bit of um, painting on, you know, bits and pieces of glass. The obligatory art room mannequin, which sometimes gets used, and my favorite little travel case of Winsor Newton watercolors. So it's just a, a small case. It's got, you know, a couple of oranges, yellows, greens, blues, and so on, but it's absolutely brilliant and really small and compact for when you're out in the field doing, you know, a couple of landscape watercolors or whatever. I absolutely love it, it's brilliant. And moving along the shelf, you've got um, A4 sketch pads first of all. So you've got cartridge there, you've got regular sketch pads, hardback, um, watercolor paper. And up above them is my A3 watercolor pads. So you've got my Bockingford St. Cuthbert's Mill that I'm always going on about, I love it. And also some Winsor & Newton um, watercolor paper there as well. Um, moving across those shelves, we have um, uh, an action figure. It's the Hulk. I remember watching a cartoon block video where he talked about using an action figure and, and setting a light on it in different ways so you could draw it with different shadow and stuff. But as you can see, it's still in the case and it's never been touched. Next up, I've got little A5 or A6 um, uh, sketchbooks. There's a little moleskin. Just to give an example of some of the stuff that I'm doing in there. Some drawings in there from uh, an aquarium that I went to a year ago, a couple of years ago. So just quick sketches live on the spot. And the moleskin is brilliant for that because it's A6 size and just fits in your, your pocket and it's got some really nice thick paper in it. Really good stuff. Um, most of those sketchbooks, unfortunately, I've only got a couple of pages used. I'm a bit of a sketchbook buying junkie, so I get it. I do a couple of pages in it and then I see another one and I'm like, oh, I love that. Um, over here, you got various bits and pieces, got some Sharpies, and Sharpies were what I used before I got any pro markers or any of the sort of fancier markers, and I still got those up on the shelf, and they get used every now and again as well. And there's other bits and pieces on that shelf. That's my bits and pieces shelf of scissors, pens, and, and rubbers, and so on. This is my very, very cluttered desk that you can see. So it's got brushes, pens, it's got um, palettes, it's got folders, it's got all kinds of stuff on it. And I regularly have to clean virtually everything off when I start filming uh, a new video because it just seems to attract clutter. I don't know how it manages it. Uh, but this is the setup. This is where I make all of the videos and you can see here I've got my lamp which has got a daylight bulb in it and then I've got this um, kind of arm on a, on a sort of wire um, kind of clamp there and that's what I hold my iPad in when I'm shooting down onto the table to film the tutorial videos and the other speed drawing videos that I, I put on my YouTube channel. Underneath all of that stuff is my pride and joy. It's my super nice in a box Winsor & Newton watercolor set and that's pretty much as it was. It's, it came with those colors, it came with a tube of white, it had a really nice ceramic little um, palette uh, and a little section for your brushes and I absolutely love that to bits. Um, I got that when I was still working and we had dual income and no kids and I was able to afford that stuff. Next that is all of my rack of folders and these are all the stuff that I collect everything in. So this folder has just got marker pictures in so whenever I do a new marker picture um, it goes in here, whether I've done it for a video where I've just done a picture and shared it on Instagram or something or Facebook, all of my marker artwork gets stored in this folder. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, 
<laughs> at some stage in the future, I'll, I'll sort of sort it out. Maybe, I don't know, sell some, do an Etsy shop or something. But right now, it's just stored. Then there's an Inks one in my uh, Keith Herring style um, sketchbook folder. And in this one is everything that I do in inks uh, with calligraphy pen or um, the Pentel brush pen or just fine liners and whatever. So anything that I do, even stuff that I've done years ago like that, uh, you know, that all goes into the inks folder. Again, stored for some time in the future when I can actually do something with it. The next one is a slightly thicker folder, and this is my watercolor one. And this is where I put everything that I've done that is watercolor, either classic watercolor or watercolor marker stuff. It all gets stored in here until um, I frame some of it up or put it in cards or whatever. And then the last folder I've got there is my used reference folder. And so whenever I do a picture and I've used one of my photographs uh, in there or maybe looked at somebody else's work uh, and I've printed it off, I keep all my reference images in this folder. So if I ever feel like I want to return to something and paint it or do it in a different media, then I hopefully can just search through this folder and I'm like, oh yeah, there's the picture that I need and I can just pull it out and use it again. So I never throw away anything like that. So my version of recycling. Um, and now we're moving over to the right hand wall and up there you can see um, the, the sort of A4 piece of paper with the little colored boxes on. That's a whole bunch of advice about how to sketch quickly that I got from a library book. Underneath that is my ProMarker color chart. Like I said, quite a few gaps. And then covering the entire right hand wall is my ideas and inspiration board, the biggie, the, the major one. And this is just a big cork board that I've screwed to the wall and then it's covered with everything that hopefully will inspire me. So if we have a look at that, you can see the obligatory Alphonse Mucha, and we've got um, postcard by Turner, and then some various little bits of um, Zelda type artwork, bit of Barbara Cougar, you know, my mantra, don't be a jerk. Um, little bit of Lara Croft, some digital artwork. I often store digital artwork pictures as inspiration because it's not something I do very well. So I really admire people that can do that kind of stuff. Toad from Mario, some more Turner. Um, little bits and pieces. Hey, there's a bit of Picasso going on there. Um, other postcards people have sent me, like some woodcuts and lino cuts. I like sketches, um, so that one of Buzz Lightyear is, you know, I know everybody likes to finish Buzz Lightyear, but I love to see the sketches. I like to see the concept art and, and what's led up to that. Here you got some scratchy drawings from the space program and also just adverts from magazines where I like the kind of illustration. It's a bit kind of watery. It's a bit different. And you'll see pop art stuff like Thor, covers side by side with things like this which is um, a, a mural it's a graffiti mural uh, Van Gogh style and I think I took photos of that in Venice Beach uh, many many years ago um, just skimming over it again you've just got inspirational things things from Greenpeace or, or um, you know the artistic uh, little bits and pieces again that I tear out of magazines I'm like oh that looks good I might use that later or it just looks amazing and it, I just think that's terrific so again a bit more mucha even sculpture there, you got some Anthony Gormley there, that little rusty kind of figure, uh, moving over bubblegum wrappers, uh, and also more comic covers. And there's a little bit of Skyrim on the end there, my all-time favorite video game. Uh, and again, moving downwards, you know, you can see little bits and pieces, like there's this Wu-Tang stencil that I thought that's great, I'll be using that at some point. And then you got some more Picasso. There's my daughter's favorite pick, the um, cake with all the sweets coming out of it. Various environmental things because the sort of green side of things is very important to me. A little bit of fashion drawing there because I admire it. I can't do it, but I think it looks amazing and I wish I could. And then another one of my favorite bits of concept art from The Incredibles, uh, just the angular contrasty look of this, I just think is amazing. So I'd love to do some work in that kind of vein, in that kind of style one time. And again, yet more postcards that I just collect when I go to see an art exhibition. Oh, there's my uh, little reminder about color, analogous color, complementary color, and so on. Some lovely watercolors by John Singer Sargent, David Hockney, bit of graffiti, various other bits and pieces. It's just stuff you pick up, galleries, magazines, and, and you know, you don't want to leave it behind. You love it. You want to take it with you um, because you're hoping in the future, you know, it'll give you some ideas, give you a spark. So if we have a little look down on the floor, yeah, the space is limited, so there's stuff stored on the floor here. You can see the sole copics that I own in the world, um, four or five uh, grey tones, and on underneath that is a little grey box, which is the first ever set of watercolours I ever got. Winsor & Newton's Cotman ones, so the sort of entry-level watercolours that they do. And um, this was the very first set I got. My mum bought me this in the 80s, and this is what I used. 
um, somebody borrowed it and they left a little thank you note for me there. And I just loved using this one. And when I got the chance to upgrade to the slightly posher artist ones, I did. Underneath that is Burt's Bees. Uh, and in Burt's Bees box is in no way color coded or sorted or arranged or organized in any way all of my aqua markers. Um, so I've got quite a few of those in there. Good variety, but I have to really sift through them to find the colors I need because they're all mixed up. There's some Derwent watercolor pencils in there as well. And then underneath the table, because like I said, space is limited, everything's stored everywhere. You've got a box full of um, old sketch pads. You've got some pigment markers and some brush markers on top of there. Even a desktop easel on its side that I never use anymore. Uh, and to the left, there's uh, some big, I think those are A2 size folders. And those contain stuff from my school days, through my college, university, um, all kinds of stuff. And that is my workspace. So this video is a massive thank you to everybody that subscribed over the last couple of years. I'm up to 2,000, which is a big deal for me. And I just want to say a massive thank you because there is a bunch of you that consistently comment and talk to me about what I'm posting and, and what you'd like to see and so on. And I'm quite happy to try and, you know, do some of those things as we move forward towards 3000. Um, if you want to see any more of my practice videos, like some of the stuff that I post where I have a go at sort of deconstructing somebody else's style and somebody else's way of doing things, then uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more things like that. If you want to see more things like the uh, beginners or basics videos that I've done, I mean, I got quite a good response to the, the watercolor markers one. And I've got a bunch of other things that, you know, I'm sort of going to use for the first time. So if you want to see some beginners sort of videos again, like the real basics, let me know about that. And if you want to see some more challenge videos, like the three marker challenge that I did a couple of weeks ago, let me know about that. I'm not quite sure what challenges are out there, but you could let me know or I could do a bit of research and have a go at some of those. So thank you and don't forget to subscribe.